In this problem, we're told a 16 kilogram child descends a slide 2.2 meters high and reaches the bottom with a speed of 1.25 meters per second. How much thermal, thermal energy due to friction was generated in this process? So before we solve this problem, let's go ahead and draw what's going on. So imagine this right here. This is gonna be the slide that the child's going down, right? So this is the slide. And so we know they're gonna be 16 kgs. So this is gonna be our child at the beginning or the child at the beginning. And then this right here is gonna be the child at the end. So they're gonna slide down this and we know the mass of the child is equal to 16 kilograms. And so we know the slide is going to be 2.2 meters high. So this distance right here, 2.2 meters. And they're going to reach the speed with, or the bottom, their speed is going to be 1.25 meters per second. So I'm going to call this V sub 2, 1.25 meters per second. And so I'm going to call this right here V sub 1. So V sub 1 is just going to be their initial velocity. And so we're assuming that they start from rest. So it's going to be 0 meters per second. So that's going to be that. And so let's go ahead and solve this problem. So we're trying to find the thermal energy due to friction that was generated in this process. So essentially, there's going to be some energy that's lost due to friction. And that's what we're trying to find. And so how do we find that? So the way we're going to find it is by taking the total energy at the end. And I'm just going to call that E sub 2 or the thermal energy at the end, right? And then we're going to subtract it from the energy initially, right? So it's going to start here with some energy. It's going to go down and lose some energy. And then it's going to be here. So this right here, right, is going to be the change in the energy right, as a result of friction, right, because that's the only thing that's making us lose, uh, lose energy here. So you could call it change in E sub F. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is solving for this. So how do we do that? So the way we're going to solve for this is this essentially is equal to, right, so the change in energy is equal to uh, the potential energy and the kinetic energy at the end minus the potential and kinetic energy at the beginning. So if we say K sub 2 and U sub 2 is your kinetic and uh, potential energy right at the end right because the two specifies it's at the end minus the kinetic energy in the beginning minus the potential energy in the beginning so this right here is gonna be our formula right so we're just going to take the energy at the end minus the energy in the beginning and that's going to be right uh, equal to the energy or the thermal energy lost due to friction so what are each of these so you know the formula for kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared and then for potential energy it's equal to mgy so these are your formulas, right? Y is the height, M is your mass, G is just 9.8, and then V is your velocity at that time, or wherever you set it to be. So if we want to solve for it, right, all we got to do is just plug in our variables. So let's go ahead and solve. So K sub 2 is just going to be, let me actually write the equation first. So MV, and since it's 2, we're just going to say V sub 2, right? So 1 half MV sub 2 squared plus MGY2 minus 1 half M v1 squared minus m g y1 so this right here is going to be the formula we're going to use and all we have to do is just plug in the numbers that we're given and it's going to come out pretty even so delta e is going to be equal to one half times m m is going to be the mass right and so we know it's 16 kg so one half multiply that by 16 times v sub 2 which is 1.25 square it plus the mass, which is 16 times 9.8 times y sub 2. And so what y's are essentially your height at that time. So at the end, right, we're two, in the beginning, we're 2.2 meters up, but then we go to zero, right? So if we say this is 2.2, this is zero. The height at the end is zero. So really, this is just zero. And so zero times all this is going to be zero. So we can just get rid of this. And then it's going to be minus 1 half times the mass, which is 16 times v sub 1. And so notice again, this is going to be zero because we start from rest. So really, this is just zero squared. Zero times anything is just going to be zero. So minus, right, so that gets rid of that. And then we just have minus mgy1. So m is 16 times g, uh, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then y1 is your height beginning. And so if you look at the drawing, right, right here in the beginning, we're at 2.2 meters. So... This right here is going to be your equation, right? So all you have to do is go ahead and solve this. So you're just going to do 1 half times 16 times 1.25 squared. And then you're going to go ahead and minus 16 times 9.8 and then times 2.2. And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that it equals minus 332.46. And so notice this is negative because it's showing that we lose this much, right? But they're just asking for the number we lost. So really, you're just going to make it positive. And so I'm going to go ahead and round it just to the whole number. So I'm just going to say 332, uh, right? So just 
uh, and then the units we use to measure energy is joules. So you can take this answer, but make sure it's positive, right? So 332.46 or 332, whatever your teacher wants you to do. But 332 joules, right? That's going to be the thermal energy lost in this case, or how the amount of thermal energy due to friction that was generated in this process. So 332 joules is your answer. And so hopefully you found this video useful.